States. So in that press conference we just saw, where the question was conveyed to President Trump that Adam Schiff might have had advance notice of what the complaint was about, the question was completely misrepresented, and it teed President, up, President Trump up to make the claim that Adam Schiff, now the let, chairman... Let's, uh, let, let's hold on a second. Notice how they take at face value what Schiff says, and he's a liar. We not, I mean, how many more examples do you need? They take at face value what his press guy says. Uh, they don't have any problem with Schiff concealing this information from them, the press, all these weeks, concealing it all these weeks at least five or six weeks. They've got no problem, they're not offended by that. They don't mind the fact that this guy Schiff's been on their network and other networks deceiving the American people. In fact, he was on MSNBC at the top of the show, I played that, where he denied that they had had any contact with the uh, so-called whistleblower. Instead, it's an attack on Trump, go ahead of the House Intelligence Committee had some hand in writing it, which is completely patently false according to the reporting and according no, no, to the... No, it's, it's not patently false according to the reporting. The reporters are parrots. They're just parroting what they're being told. I believe strongly that that committee had input in that complaint. I believe the lawyers whispered in hushed tones to each other. And it's interesting. You're a journalist. What do you want? You want the phone records, right? We're talking about phone records here. You want the phone records of the committee, Mr. Schiff? They don't even ask for the individual's name, the staffer's name. They didn't even ask for the staffer's name on the committee, so they could question that. Nothing. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.